Hi, question number six. The variables x and theta satisfy the differential equation 3 plus cos 2 theta dx over d theta is equal to x times sine of 2 theta. And it is given that x is equal to 3 when theta is equal to quarter pi. Solve the differential equation and obtain an expression for x in terms of theta, 7 marks, and then state the least value taken by x, and for this one, 1 mark. All right, question number six. Okay, first part, we need to solve the differential equation. So, first, we're going to separate the variables. x is going to come on this side, therefore, we're going to have 1 over x is equal to sine of 2 theta over 3 plus cos of 2 theta. Then, we're going to integrate each one of them and with respect to x, with respect to theta. So, integrating 1 over x is ln x, integrating sine of 2 theta, this is, the, this is in the form of um, integral f dash x over fx, dx is equal to ln fx, ok, plus k. Right, so now, um, what about this? If you differentiate cos of 2 theta, ok, you are going to end up with what with minus 2 sine of 2 theta, isn't it? But there is no minus 2 here, alright? So we're going to put a minus 2 here, alright? So ln x is equal to the integral of minus 2, okay, sine of 2 theta all over 3 plus cos of 2 theta d theta. Now remember this minus 2 never used to exist here, so we're going to put minus half outside. That puts it back to the same. So, ln x is equal to then negative half ln 3 plus cos of 2 theta ok plus k or a, the new constant. Alright, and from here we are told that uh, x is equal to 3 when theta is equal to pi upon 4. Alright, so we just have to substitute. So we got then ln 3 is equal to negative half ln 3 plus cos of 2 theta. What is 2 theta? 2 times pi upon 4, that is pi upon 2. So cos of pi upon 2 plus a. Alright, so from here ln 3 is equal to negative half ln 3 plus cos of pi upon 2. This is 0, isn't it? Because pi upon 2 is uh, 90 degrees. If you check it out in your calculator, you're going to get 0. Therefore, plus a. In other words, we're saying that a is equal to, you send this on the other side, ln 3 plus half ln 3 is 3 over 2 ln 3, isn't it? Right. So from here, we got then ln x is equal to the expression is going to be minus half okay, ln 3 plus cos of 2 theta, all right, plus 3 over 2 ln 3. Now, we need to express x in terms of um, x in terms of uh, theta. So we're going to say then ln x is equal to, for this one, ln 3 plus cos of 2 theta to the power of minus half plus ln 3 to the power of 3 over 2. So ln x is equal to then, you multiply because there's addition here, so we're going to get uh, ln uh, right 3 to the power of 3 over 2 times uh, 3 plus cos of 2 theta to the power of minus half. So what is um, 3 to the power of 3? And the square root of 3 to the power of 3 is the, sorry, the 3 to the power of uh, 3 is 27 and the square root of that. So we're going to get the square root of 27 divided by 3 plus cos of 2 theta. Remember this becomes the denominator because the power is minus half to the power of minus to the power of half so that's that's going to be the square root of that one so ln ln so that's going to be then equal to 
the square root of uh, we have the ln okay x square root of 27 over 3 plus cos of 2 theta so the ln ln can go out and I'm going to be left with x is equal to root of 27 over 3 plus cos of 2 theta we need to state the least value of x the least value taken by x okay so least value of x is when the graph okay is the least value of x yeah the least value taken by this is when the graph is um, greatest remember this is the cosine graph for cosine the graph is like this so the greatest here is going to be 1 therefore x is going to be the square root of x is going to be the square root of 27 over 3 plus cos of 2 theta here the graph, the graph of y is equal to cos of 2 theta it has to be 1 1 1 is the maximum value the maximum will give the least value of x so we got then square root of 27 divided by the square root of 3 plus 1 is 4 which is 2 alright so square root of 27 over 2 which is basically 3 root of 3 over 2 and here we are for the least value of x um, for this question taken from June 2016 advanced level maths HSC P3 okay